Hey everybody, good morning. Today is Friday, December 9th, 2022, and we're here in North Wales, Pennsylvania at the Rhodes Garden. I've actually never been here before. It's a nursery. Looks pretty interesting though. There's actually something here really cool I wanna show you guys, but we're just gonna walk around a little bit first. It's actually very, very, very cold outside right now. Once again, I should have a heavier jacket on than I do. I, I literally, every time I say that, I literally have a heavier jacket in the car with me. And I just never have it on for whatever reason. But look at all these Christmas trees. These are awesome. I love the Christmas season. I'm just such a big fan of Christmas and Christmas trees. I, it is official. I absolutely do love Christmas more than any other holiday. I, I mean, I love me some, some Halloween. Don't get me wrong. Halloween's a fantastic holiday as well. But when it comes to holidays, I'm all about the, I'm all about the Christmas, the Christmas trees, the Christmas lights, everything Christmas. I'm a fan of. So I love walking through all these different trees, all these cut down pre pre pre, 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 it's so early in the morning. It's so cold. Pre-cut trees literally have frost on them because it's so incredibly cold out here. Like I said, there's something really interesting I want to show you guys though, but uh, just, just for the heck of it, we're going to walk around just a little bit because I want to see what this place has to offer. Although right now I'm walking through mud, so maybe this was not the greatest idea to come walking this way. There's a big gazebo over here, which is pretty awesome. Look at, look at this thing. I actually really like gardens and nurseries and whatnot. When I was a kid, I always had this, this idea of taking my backyard and turning it into a giant garden, like just trees and, and flowers and plants. I always loved going to like, like Longwood Gardens and the Hershey Gardens, a place like that where they have all these exotic plants. Always loved that kind of thing. And I always thought it'd be really cool maybe someday to do that to my backyard. Of course, to do <laughs> <laughs> so early, it's so cold. Of course, to do that, it takes a lot of time and effort and skill and a, and a green thumb, which I do not have, to keep all those plants alive and kicking and, and growing and looking beautiful. Look at the inside here. What's inside here? This is pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this. It smells amazing inside here. Look at the, look at the cardinal. Look at that. It smells, I guess, is it evergreen? That's not. I'm smelling the evergreens. This is, look at all the wreaths. The moment I walked in here, it just smelled so amazing. There's an owl over there. That's really cool. Look at these flowers here. I love, I love it. It smells, like I said, it smells amazing in here. Look at these really awesome, like little plant things here with the, with the acorns with the fuzziness on them. They're really cool. There's so much interesting, neat stuff in here. I'm actually really happy I came out here. I'm gonna have to check this place out someday. Maybe come out here, get some plants and whatnot. What's inside here? Look at, the, look at this. There's a whole, a whole store in there. All right, we're gonna come back out here someday and check all that out. That's pretty amazing. Seriously, it smelled so good in there. The moment I walked into, the, walked through those doors, I was hit with it by this wave of just evergreen. It smelled, again, amazing inside there. That was, that was pretty awesome. But anyway, we're okay. We're not really here to look at the Christmas trees. We're not here to take a look at the wreaths. We're not here to really go inside. There's something out front I want to show you guys. The whole reason why I wanted to pull over in the first place is to show you guys something pretty, 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 so cold. My mouth is like, I mean, my, not that I can normally talk anytime, but when it's cold, I, I, I most, or what's I'm looking for? <laughs> when it's cold, I especially can't talk. That's what I'm trying to say. My mouth just sort of like freezes shut. I definitely cannot talk when it's cold out or when it's warm out or when it's just sort of neutral out. Anytime I can't talk. Anyway, there's something pretty amazing I want to show you guys out front of this nursery. The whole reason why I wanted to pull over and show you guys something. Oh my gosh, hold on. There's, look at this. We, like I kind of I kind of want to go back inside now. There's a whole like greenhouse here. Look at that. That is so awesome. I'm seeing, seeing cacti in there. That is so cool. I, yeah, I gotta go inside there. That is, that is too neat. But all right, that's, again, that's not the reason why I wanted to pull over. I was driving past this and I saw something pretty awesome. And I just wanted to show this to you guys. I'm probably not gonna climb up onto it because it looks pretty dirty, but look at this giant chair. It's a giant lawn chair. How cool is that? This is pretty amazing. This thing is, like, like I said, huge as well. It's sort of wet. I don't feel like I should sit on this, but I'm probably, I'm going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm all wet now. Look at this. <laughs> this thing is awesome. It is huge. It is gigantic. You can fit like 17 people 
on this giant chair. This thing is amazing. When I saw this, I knew I had to pull over and take a look at this roadside oddity in the form of a giant chair that now has my butt all wet. Look at, look at this, there's water all over this and it's now all over my pants. And that is so cool. I love weird, interesting, bizarre things like this. When I saw the giant, the giant lawn chair, I knew I had to pull over and check this out. Just to document the awesomeness that is a giant lawn chair that could fit like 47 people in it. The number keeps getting larger every time I tell you how many people could actually fit inside this chair. That is too cool. That is too awesome. Giant lawn chair. You're at Rhodes, Rhodes Garden. Really interesting, really awesome. Like you said, I want to pull over and show that to you guys. I wish there was a, like an outside door that would allow me to get right into the, uh, right inside the greenhouse. There's, a, there's like a maintenance store over there. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go inside the maintenance store, but I'd love to go inside there and take a look at the actual, the actual greenhouse as well. I mean, I end up having to do that before I leave. That is so cool. I just, I love this, I love this kind of stuff. There's actually a really amazing greenhouse. Look at, look at this, look at, look at all the stuff in there. You know, all the cacti and whatnot, that is so cool. There's a really awesome greenhouse actually that I wanna take you guys to, and I'm gonna do it probably soon in the not too distant future. And it's actually, it's really awesome. They have this whole big sort of um, display inside that you can walk through. It's this big greenhouse. It's really amazing for a, for a little local garden area. It's a really awesome greenhouse. It almost feels like you're in like a little miniature, like Longwood Gardens. It's really, really cool. I'm definitely gonna have to take you guys out to that and show that to you guys. Sorry, anyway, I wanted to show you the, the amazing lawn chair, but I'm thinking quickly, should we try to go inside and just look at the, um, look at the greenhouse? I mean, we're here, right? I feel like we should just walk in there really quickly and take a look at that. Hopefully they don't mind that I'm building inside here, but I mean, that greenhouse looked too cool. I just want to show that to you guys. I want to, I want to check it out. So if I'm going to go see it, I might as well bring you guys along with me to take a look at it. So we'll go through the, uh, the front doors here. This place is pretty awesome. There's like a whole store in here. Look at this. My glasses are fogging up. It was so cold outside. Oh, you can feel the, <laughs> you can feel the warmth of the greenhouse in here. It's so, it's so steamy. My glasses have completely fogged up. And I had no idea there were birds in here. Oh my gosh, they scared the heck out of me. Hi. Look at that, there's parrots in here. Okay, that's pretty amazing. I had, no, I had no idea they were in here. Okay, my glasses are still completely fogged up. They are so loud. Scared the heck out of me. This is really awesome. I guess it's really steamy inside here because you're inside the greenhouse. This is too cool. Look at the, look at the cacti. That is a whole lot of succulents. This place is pretty awesome. I'm definitely glad I pulled over to check out that amazing chair. That's coming here to this really awesome greenhouse. Look at these little cacti there. Those are cool. We get to see birds. This place is awesome. I'm definitely a big fan of this place now. I'm officially officially a fan. Definitely going to stop out here a couple more times now. A caution. Bird, our birds can bite. Please do not touch the cage or feed the birds. Doesn't say we can't film them though. Hi. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. How oh, my glasses now? No longer fogged up. Awesome. So, all right, guys, that's it. I wanted to bring you out here. I'm going to show you guys the amazing chair. I just saw that from the side of the road. I had to show that to you guys. Look at the Christmas trees. This place is too awesome. It smells amazing in here, too. You can smell the candles in there. All right, so <laughs> that was really awesome. That was pretty cool. That greenhouse was amazing. The birds scared the heck out of me for a second there. I was not expecting there to be parrots inside, inside the greenhouse. When the one chirped, it definitely scared the heck out of me. But that was too cool, that was awesome. So all right guys, again, we are here at Rhodes Garden in North Wales, Pennsylvania. Pretty cool, we got to see some trees, we got to go into the greenhouse. But the real reason why I wanted to pull over because you guys know how much I love roadside oddities and just weird and bizarre things. I was driving past here, went to my friend's house, picked up some pretty cool stuff, got a really cool video game system thing offer. It was a, a Pac-Man 
um, arcade machine. So I had to go out there and pick that up, which is pretty awesome. But I drove past this on the way out to her house. I knew I'd be coming back to take a look at it. Look at that. Giant lawn chair. But all right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do get help putting gas in Vanabelle, which you actually have today. We've, I brought Vanabelle out here today. So um, it helps put gas in Vanabelle and inside Pumpkin. So we can come out to interesting places like this and see weird roadside oddities and, and gardens and parrots and gigantic lawn chairs. Too awesome, too cool. If you ever have actually been out here, let me know. If you've actually ever taken your picture in this lawn chair, let me know. But all right, guys, like I said, I'm gonna let you go. So have a good one. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit, like I said, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you guys are subscribed or you do subscribe, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.